And the one thing you see with aces, you see players lose a big pot or win a small pot. That does tend to happen a lot, but if you play them well, you're going to win a lot more pots than you lose. Habernig now the chip leader once again. Ace, ten of clubs on the button. Big starting hand. I mean, it's a big hand all the time, really, but heads up, this is a monster. This is as good as ace-king at a full table. He raises to 170,000. Vardenega with ace-seven offsuit. This could be a disaster for Vardenega. Ace-seven, also a really big hand for a heads-up match. You're never going to fold here. The question, does he call or re-raise? He decides to raise. And that's fine. Um, he knows he has the best hand here much more than half the time. You know, probably 70, 80 percent of the time he's in the lead with the ace seven. He doesn't want to give another cheap flop to Habernig like he did with aces versus the eight four off suit. There's the raise from Vardenegg to 395,000. If you're Habernig, you just saw your opponent just smooth call with the aces. Do you now know that Vardenega is not that strong because he's re-raised? Well, I mean, this is heads up. Your opponent hopefully is mixing it up well if he's playing well. So you can't assume anything here. But just ace-10 is a big hand. So he could play this either way. He can call or he can four bet. But folding really isn't part of the equation. Habernig decides just to call. He is in position. He'll get to act last on the flop, the turn, and the river. And that's a big part of why he called. Plus, his hand is suited, so he has that long shot chance of flopping the nut flush. Booyah! Ace, 7, 10. Vardenega with two pair. Habernig with top two pair. Well, this is much more of a lucky hand than cracking the aces. Is there any way Vardenega gets away from the ace 7? I don't think so. The only way he's going to get away from ace 7 is if a 10 hits the turn, because then he knows that his kicker basically doesn't play. He might get away from it then, but even then, probably not. You know, he's probably not supposed to ever get away from this hand. This Heads up. Both players flop two pair. Habernig has Vardenega covered. Vardenega bets 480000 Yeah, obviously it's very debatable how Habernig should play his hand now, but we know that all the money's going all in no matter what. It really doesn't matter here. But, of course, Habernick doesn't know that Vardenega has flopped aces up as well. If he knew that, he would just shove in now and save us time. He decides just to call. Vardenega needs a seven to win this. He can also chop it if it comes running jacks, running queens, or running kings. Well, there's a queen of diamonds. If another queen were to fall, it would be a chop pop. Both players would have aces and queens with a 10 kicker. Yeah, but obviously Vardenegg is not thinking about that at all. He's still assuming that my aces and sevens is the best hand. And even though there's another overcard on the board to the 10, Habernig is assuming that his aces and tens is the best hand. Fortunately for him, he's the one who's right. Both players trying to figure out how to get all the chips in the middle. Unfortunately for the Brazilian, he is really up against it. Martinega checks. There's the bet. There's the all in. There's the call. That's it. Habernig in great shape to win this pot and win the tournament. Martinega needs a seven to win, a queen to chop it. Here it is, the river. Both players on their feet. All the Brazilians rooting for a seven. Siete, siete. I'll buy the ten. Good hand, man. Thanks. Habernig not looking very comfortable for a man with such a commanding lead. That's Huge true, favorite man. to win this pot. Here's the river. The Jack of Diamonds, and that's it. Habernig wins the tournament. He is our LAPT Florianopolis champion. Dion Vardenega, the Brazilian, a valiant effort. He makes the comeback, but it's not enough. He finishes in second place. It wasn't as easy as expected for Habernig, but he triumphs. Matias, online qualifier from Austria. This is his first live event, great champion, great tournament. Here is our 2010 Florianopolis champion, Matias Hamburg.